soap solution to lubricate the top side. Squeegee the film down to lock it in place, working from the center towards the outside. When the alcohol is squeegeed out, the pressure activated adhesive will bind this area to the paint. In effect, the hood film piece will be nailed down in the center. It is important to nail down the starting position so that the film can be stretched, if necessary, to accommodate curvature in the hood. Many paint protection film kits are designed slightly undersized so the film can be stretched during installation. Lift up the piece on one side of the hood and spray the paint underneath with soap solution. Locate the first target point, the next point on the hood away from the start position where the pattern has a critical fitting point. On a simple hood, the only target point will be the outer edge of the hood. Lift the film and spray this target area with alcohol. Lay the film back down, then gently stretch the film to reach this first target point and squeegee the film down with overlapping strokes. Do not press the film down hard with your fingers while stretching it as this could cause the pressure activated adhesive to prematurely bind to the paint and leave visible marks. Employ the same procedure on the opposite side of the hood. Lift the film and spray the area underneath with soap solution. Then spray the target area on the edge of the hood with the alcohol solution. Once the edge of the hood has been sprayed with alcohol solution, gently stretch the film into place so that it mates with the edge of the hood. Spray the surface of the film with soap solution to lubricate it and then squeegee the film from the center out towards the edges with overlapping strokes. Dry the film surface with a lint-free towel. The final step in the installation is to wrap a hard card in a layer of paper towel and use it to press down the film edges. It is extremely important that all edges be properly sealed. Any lifted edges will soon attract dirt and other contaminants and may eventually lose adhesion and peel away from the paint. Next, we'll proceed to the fender kit installation. Starting with a fender that has already been cleaned and dried, spray the fender with soap solution. Lay the film on the fender, white liner side down, and pull off the cap sheet. This process takes more effort than you might expect, but the film is very strong and will not be harmed by it. A brisk tug on the cap sheet usually works better than a smoother pull to get the process started. Once the fender section is completely free of the cap sheet, flip it over and lay it down liner side up on the fender surface. Starting on one corner of the part, pull away the protective adhesive liner and spray the exposed adhesive with soap solution. It is vitally important that your fingers be clean and wet during this process. When dry, the adhesive will mark easily with fingerprints if touched by dry or dirty fingers. Because the fender surface has been liberally sprayed with soap solution, the associated surface tension actually helps hold the film in place while the adhesive liner is removed. When the film piece is completely free of the liner, spray the fender surface with soap solution. Then flip the piece over so the adhesive side is down against the paint. Float it into position. Center the piece carefully as close as possible to the edges. Spray alcohol solution under the inner edge to help tack the film in place and use soap solution to lubricate the film surface above it. 
Squeegee the film down to lock it in place, beginning on the inner edge and working towards the outside. When the alcohol is squeegeed out, the pressure activated adhesive will bind this area to the paint. It is important to nail down the starting position so that the film can be stretched to accommodate curvature in the fender. Lift up the piece on the outside of the fender and spray the paint underneath with soap solution. Locate the first target point, the next point on the fender away from the starting point where the pattern has a critical fitting point. On a simple fender, the only target point may be the outer edge of the fender. Lift the film and spray this target area with alcohol. Lay the film back down, then gently stretch the film to reach this first target point and squeegee the film down with overlapping strokes. Do not press the film down hard with your fingers while stretching it, as this could cause the pressure activated adhesive to prematurely bind to the paint and leave visible marks. Once the film has been fitted to the fender and squeegeed into place, Carefully lift up the edges one section at a time, spray the paint underneath with alcohol solution, and squeegee back down. The alcohol will rinse away any residual soap solution and allow the pressure activated adhesive to bind almost instantly when the film is squeegeed back down. The final step in the film installation is to wrap a hard card in a layer of paper towel and use it to press down the film edges. It is extremely important that all edges be properly sealed. Any lifted edges will soon attract dirt and other contaminants and may eventually lose adhesion and peel away from the paint. Next, we'll perform the mirror kit installation. Spray the mirror with soap solution and wipe it clean. Then, wipe it dry. The mirror surface must be completely clean and dry to ensure proper adhesion of the film. The extreme curvature will require substantial stretching of the film, so it is vitally important that it adhere well. Hold the film piece up to the mirror, white liner side down, to confirm it matches the mirror to be installed. Then, pull off the cap sheet. Starting on one corner of the part, pull away the protective adhesive liner and spray the exposed adhesive with soap solution. It is vitally important that your fingers be clean and wet during this process. When dry, the adhesive will mark easily with fingerprints if touched by dry or dirty fingers. When the piece is free of the liner, spray the mirror surface with soap solution. Then flip the piece over so the adhesive side is down against the paint. Spray alcohol solution under the inner edge to help tack the film in place, and use soap solution to lubricate the film surface above it. Squeegee the film down to lock it in place beginning on the inner edge and working towards the outside. When the alcohol is squeegeed out, the pressure activated adhesive will bind this area to the paint. It is important to nail down the starting position so that the film can be stretched to accommodate curvature in the mirror. Lift up the piece on the outside of the mirror and spray the paint underneath with soap solution. Gently stretch the film to reach the outer edge of the mirror and squeegee it down with overlapping strokes. Do not press the film down hard with your fingers while stretching it, as this could cause the pressure activated adhesive to bind to the paint and leave visible marks. Once the film has been fitted to the mirror and squeegeed into place, carefully lift up the edges one section at a time, spray the paint underneath with the alcohol solution, and squeegee back down. The alcohol will rinse away any residual soap solution and allow the adhesive to bind almost instantly when the film is squeegeed back down. The extreme elasticity of the AeroGuard urethane film and the quick tacking of its pressure activated adhesive when the alcohol solution is squeegeed out will smooth out the wrinkles or fingers 
that initially appear around the edges of the mirror. The final step in the film installation is to wrap a hard card in a layer of paper towel and use it to press down the film edges. It is extremely important that all edges be properly sealed. Any lifted edges will soon attract dirt and other contaminants and may eventually lose adhesion and peel away from the paint.